To me, Global Reach Out is inspiring. It's connecting with God, reaching out to the world, and impacting life. The stories that are shared is so personal and it deeply impacted me. Global Reach Out to me is reach out to the truth. Connecting hearts, connecting lives. You're listening to Global Reach Out. To me, Global Reach Out is inspiring. It's connecting with God, reaching out to the world, and impacting life. The stories that are shared is so personal and it deeply impacted me. Global Reach Out to me is reach out to the truth. Connecting hearts, connecting lives. You're listening to Global Reach Out. Dear brothers and sisters, thanks for tuning in to Global Reach Out. I am Sister Anjali, and starting from November, we have launched a program called The Kingdom Business Culture. This program is based on the workplace training course by Global Gyra, entitled Christ-Centered Entrepreneurship. This course was compiled by Pastor Tony Tay Ming Hyang to help brothers and sisters live out Christ in the workplace. We encourage brothers and sisters to sign up for this course so that they will not only have the opportunity to communicate directly with the instructors, but also establish long-term and close contacts with the kingdom business operators in the group. Learn from each other and encourage one another and put the theory into practice. Living out Christ in the workplace For those who are interested, you can refer to the end of the manuscript and register by email. In the next five talks, we will learn the attitude, system, and character of national entrepreneurs together. Today, we will first talk about the faith-based attitude, the foundation of truth. The attitude towards truth determines the height breadth, and depth of the life of a kingdom entrepreneur. Specifically, if the rationality of a kingdom entrepreneur thinks about the truth, he will have the height of propheticness and be able to understand high-level thoughts. If the sensibility of a kingdom entrepreneur loves the truth, he will have the depth of priesthood and be able to shape in-depth cultivation. If the willpower of a kingdom entrepreneur chooses the truth, he will have the breath of kingship and be able to achieve breath. This means that our whole being, intellect, emotion, and willpower must be aligned with the truth in order to be able to shed our previous actions and put on our new self. To grow in all these three areas, intellect, emotion, and willpower, we can no longer follow worldly methodologies, which are against the biblical principles. We need to follow the Christ model methodology in three steps. Listening from the beginning, teaching by hand, and finally, learning by heart. The first step in learning is our willingness to listen to the Word of God, which is an act of faith. The next step is to apply the learned truth to practice and to be corrected by others in the process of applying it. This process will teach us the lessons of love, which is the third step. In contrast with this, is the secular methodology, which can also be divided into three steps. First, understand the doctrines from people, then try to follow the rules set by people, and finally, live in hypocrisy. Why is there such a result? The reason is that human theories will make us doubt the truth of God. And once we leave God's grace, People will not have the strength to follow those seemingly good regulations, and the result can only be superficial. Undoubtedly, 
kingdom entrepreneurs should adopt the methodology of the Christ model so that their head, heart, and hands are based on truth, faith-based, and the inside and the outside are the same. What is the attitude of a person whose whole being is based on faith? Firstly, if our reason is aligned with the truth, we will have an honest attitude. This is because truth has become our standard, and adherence to this standard makes us pay attention to integrity. When we do not meet our due standards, we will not deceive ourselves. Pure thinking will make us willing to admit our shortcomings and show a sincere attitude. Secondly, if our willpower is aligned with the truth, we will have a noble attitude. Because taking the truth as the standard, we will find that there are still many deficiencies in our conduct, failing to fully meet the requirements of the truth. On one hand, we pursue growth, and on the other hand, we realize that we are not perfect and a sincere humility will arise in our hearts. This humility is a noble quality that makes us willing to learn from and be taught by others. This attitude also drives us to coordinate with each other, and thus the establishment of the enterprise system. Furthermore, when the use of willpower is based on strong convictions, we have the character of perseverance. In the process of system operation, lack of perseverance can lead to halfway. Therefore, we say that perseverance based on truth is also a noble quality. We should truly know the message of Christ's resurrection so that we may have a living hope. We remain vigilant in this hope continuing to move forward with dignity. This noble attitude is an indispensable condition for business expansion. Thirdly, if our emotions are aligned with the truth, we will have a divine attitude. We will become a broad-minded person and will uphold love with great importance even though being hurt by others. We will not let selfish hatred replace the love in our hearts. We will forgive each other. And with each forgiveness, our hearts become wider. Emotions full of love and not hate keep our attitude sacred. Although we are still sinners, we choose to bear each other in love and build each other's characters in a gracious environment. There is a saying that only sinners can hurt people, and only sinners can be hurt. When someone hurts us, we won't be hurt if we respond with love. This shows that we must be very careful not to lose the holy love in our hearts. Otherwise, our motives for keeping integrity will no longer be pure, and we may lose the motivation to keep going. Love enables us to continue to bless others, which is also the value that kingdom enterprises want to create. In summary, kingdom enterprise managers should align their whole beings with the truth. The alignment of prophetic reason makes people have an honest attitude. The alignment of kingly willpower makes people have a noble attitude. And the alignment of priestly emotions makes people have a holy attitude. An honest attitude enables people to have clear beliefs, which facilitates their realization of the vision of the enterprise. A noble attitude enables the establishment and smooth operation of the system, 
which facilitates the expansion of the enterprise. And the sacred attitude enables the enterprise to have pure motivation and strong vitality, which can benefit people in the long run. Dear friends, this is where we end today's episode. I hope to see you again in the next episode of Kingdom Business Culture. The program is proudly presented by Global Reach Out. We welcome you to share our live enriching webcasts with family and friends through our website, global-reachout.org. Let's reach out to bless more lives together.